Hey gang, we have arrived in California for our honeymoon. This is Disneyland my Disneyland honeymoon trip. Yep, this is my honey. There will be a moon at some point, and we're at Disneyland. Do you guys want to come along? Come along! Come along. It's based off our name. So we have just arrived at Paradise Pier Resort and we are gonna show you around a little bit. Our room isn't quite ready, but let's just hang out at the pier. And right as you enter, the goofster is here to welcome you, him and his surfboard that is, to Paradise Pier. And since our room isn't ready, I did have to get changed in the bathroom, but that's okay. I have my just married honeymoon ears on. And since it's my first Disneyland visit, I got my first visit button, which I don't know if I've ever gotten like a first visit button at Walt Disney World, because I've been going since I was three. I'm not even in the park yet, you guys, and I'm freaking out. I'm so excited. Paradise Pier is actually one of three Disneyland resorts, so it's very different than Walt Disney World that has <laughs> hundreds, <laughs> it feels like, resorts. There are only three here. It is considered their value resort, but it is walking distance into the park. Right in the lobby, they do have Mickey in Paradise, which is their cute little gift shop here. They have all your fun Mickey merch, Disney merch, as well as bathing suits. Everything you can imagine is right here. Are you ready for all this Disneyland merch, Trav? <laughs> I am. <laughs> is your wallet? No. No? <laughs> Never is. But look at some of this stuff. This sweater is so cute. It has the little fun wheel. Help me out. Um, Matterhorn. Matterhorn. Mountain. Oh, so cool. Look at the Millennium Falcon. And then Sleeping Beauty Castle. I'm not gonna call it Cinderella. I almost did there for a second. Uh -huh. Lots of fun Disneyland merch. And they definitely have some Disneyland spirit jerseys, so you guys know I will be coming home with at least one of these. I love this little tie-dye one that they have here. And then Travis was already scoping out this kind of like 90s Mickey, where dreams come true. I feel like I saw this version for Walt Disney World. I'm not sure, but it's really cool to see it. They have a lot of classic, classic Disneyland shirts. And I really like this one too, because I've never seen this before. It's almost like camo, but like Mickey print camo. It is, it is kind of a cool, cool dude hat. Like yeah. I haven't seen a Mickey camo hat before. I like this one too. It's like almost a blue jean material. Yeah, just nice and simple. Yeah. And don't worry you guys, our wallet will not be hurting too much buying all this Disneyland merch because so many family and friends knew we were coming here for our honeymoon and got us Disney gift cards. Even some of you went on our Amazon honeymoon fun and got us Disney gift cards, which thank you so much. Thank yous will be going out. But some of you did not leave your address, so you know who you are. I want to say thank you so much for being a part of our honeymoon and, and letting my Disney merch flag fly. And then this is really neat. They have tons of Turning Red merch. I don't know if I've seen is any... Is it from Turning Red? I don't know what it is. Yes. Look at this cute little coffee mug. Some plushes, some cute t-shirts. Definitely Man, feeling the Turning uh, Red love here. And if you guys get here early too and your room isn't ready, don't worry. They have this cute little sandbox room for the kids. You can come and watch Mickey and Minnie on this beautiful sandcastle TV. Now, so far, the only little bit bummer about Paradise Pier right now is their restaurants and pool are closed for refurbishment. But no need to fret. They literally have a little shuttle service for us to go and use the Disneyland Hotel amenities, which, which to is... me is like... Which is, I don't know if you've seen the Disneyland Hotel pool, but it's probably way better than yeah. this one, if we're being honest. And, and they said that Trader our... Joe's right, or Trader Joe's. Trader, Trader Sam's. Trader Sam's right there, too. It'd be fun if they had a Trader Joe's, yeah. too, do some grocery shopping. But oh, yeah, wow. they said that our our uh, phone that's going to unlock our room eventually will also unlock all the things at Disneyland Hotel so it's kind of like we're getting to stay at Disneyland Hotel too for the price of Paradise Pier but they do have a little food area. Pluto will show you the way to the market and then this is really kind of cool everything is grab and go so you can see they do have some instructions browse and choose your item, scan it, and then you pay at the kiosk. So even the coffee I had some earlier, you scan it, it pops out, makes some lattes. It's grab and go, but it's also unmanned. 
so it doesn't there's no cast member in here yeah there is no one so really manning it but you are on candid camera so you know honesty is the best policy but yeah they have some chips some pre-made sandwiches here so even if you don't want to you know go to one of those other resorts to eat they definitely have some food and some microwaves here as well and then on the app you can actually mobile order to the front desk here from downtown Disney so that's kind of cool we might have to do that I'm not sure if it's all of the restaurants or just some of them but basically in order to get to the parks here in California you walk through their downtown Disney district so I kind of see us probably getting food from there that way more than mobile order yeah, ordering it because it's, it's just so close it's nothing like Walt Disney World you're in your own little small like I guess they call it a bubble in Walt Disney World but this is like literally like a very small yeah like think of Walt Disney World but like shrunk down like 10 times smaller yeah in space I do want to check upstairs really quick before we head into downtown Disney just to see what's going on we are going to Disneyland later like obviously I'm dressed up I'm ready to go in the park we are just waiting so yeah it's saying at the second floor you can see all these things but like I said a couple things are down for refurbishment so let's see what's upstairs yeah so Mickey's Beach Fitness Center it does look like it's open and it's open 24 hours I don't think we're gonna be able to get in yet because we do not have our room key yet but look at the little peephole that they have it's a little Mickey peephole so you can see inside just typical gym I think treadmill some weights over there and then right from up here you can actually see right where we were standing down there with the goofster it's like a nice little terrace with a little skylight up there yeah the lighting in here is it's very calming very relaxing and there are elevators here but they're they're definitely fancy elevators they're not real buttons let's go to L oh we gotta go to B where's elevator B oh it's all the way over here okay <laughs> over here maybe what's so funny about this trip you guys like I said I have been going oh look how cute look how cute the little surfboards are little Mickey surfboards um what's gonna be so interesting about this trip is I have been going to Walt Disney World my whole life and when I am there I know what's going on I know where I'm going I know kind of what I'm vlogging what the idea is this might be a complete jumble no. vacation because I don't know what's around every corner like everything is gonna be a new surprise for me not for this guy he's been to Disneyland how many times do you think you've been to Disneyland I mean in recent probably like three or four times but I mean obviously I went when I was younger but I don't I mean, I kind of remember him, but it yeah. was when I was young. He so. grew up in Arizona, so Disneyland was kind of like his well, first park. I was park. born in Arizona. Yeah. I grew up in Florida, obviously, but yeah. So, yeah, California was my first park. My dad is originally from California, so he grew up going there. That's one of the big reasons why yeah. I had the but I, Disney that I do. I have not. Everything, even though I've seen vlogs, I've seen things here and there, once you're here, I kind of feel like a rat in a maze or, or or you know a Minnie Mouse in a maze that works too we're, we're figuring it out together and boring vlog stuff that I don't care about but I have to tell you guys they do have an ATM right here in the lobby as well as one of the fuel rod porti portable charging stations as well as an Alamo and Enterprise rental car station you can right go right here and they'll help you rent a car. So we would have went to the third level. That's actually where the pool deck is, but right now they're only open for rooms. The pool deck is completely closed, like I said, as well as their Surfside Lounge little restaurant here. It does look so cute, so I can't wait to come back one day and check it out. I really like the kind of boat beachy vibe and then here is their other little restaurant that's closed this is the PCH grill and I was a little sad about this one because this is actually breakfast lunch and dinner character dining so once again we're gonna have to come back and see it the main reason we didn't care so much about the resort kind of being under refurbishment is with it being my first time I am eating in the parks or at Disneyland Hotel or at Downtown Disney so I didn't really see myself doing too much eating or drinking at the hotel it was just to kind of have a nice close place to stay and man we are close should we take him to Downtown Disney really quick yeah let's go it's so fun to actually get to say Downtown Disney again yeah. <laughs> I keep on almost wanting to correct Disney myself Springs. and call it Disney Springs nope 
Let's go to downtown Disney, baby. And then just so you guys know, we actually didn't rent a car to get here from Los Angeles. Um, we did take an Uber. It was about $135. Um, to us, it was worth it though, because since we're so close to the park, we didn't want to have to pay to rent a car and then to pay to park it here every single day that we're here um, when we're going to be walking into the park. So for us, it was definitely worth it, but just know you can take an Uber, um, but if you do bring a car or rent a car and come here, their parking structure, you will have to pay to park just like the Walt Disney World Resorts. And I knew walking around this amazing resort would buy us some time. Our room is ready. Let's go check it out. Holy paradise. Check out this room. had a really really awesome view because look at this this is actually pool view but unfortunately like we told you it's under refurbishment but it looks really cool like they have a giant slide and multiple pools man I wish it was open but maybe next time and they do have views that overlook the park a little bit here but like I said we do not plan on being at the resort too much this trip with it being my first time here we're gonna be at the park so we just wanted to be a hop step and a skip away and at this resort you definitely are and the room is really cozy too we did get a king bed for our little honeymoon suite and they do have a really cute little beachy themed entertainment center with all of your information on the screen park hours and this is one of my favorite things about disneyland they are open till 12 almost every single night, you guys, which we're gonna get plenty of fun time in for sure. A little office or like eating area, and then they do have a pullout couch, so if you have someone with you, but we will have this bed all to ourselves. Hey babe, we need to test the bed. Ah! Uh, fluffiness approved. <laughs> I really love these reading lamps too, like right above the bed. They're so cute. It's like little lifeguard stand lamps. And then every woman's dream for a resort room, you gotta have that full length mirror to see what's going on. And let's see what's going on inside the mirror. We got typical pillows, blankets, no safe. I don't see ironing board, hair dryer, all that. And then another little mirror over here with a little coffee and tea station. And you know they got that Joffrey's. Gotta love the Joffrey's. I did find the safe. It's actually in here, right above a little mini fridge for you to store everything you need. I don't see a microwave, but safe, fridge, good to go. And I didn't even notice this until just now, you guys. Look at the sheets. Can you guys tell? There's like little hidden Mickeys. They are literally hidden on these sheets as well says, as on the pillowcases. Says, uh, you're coming home with me. Yeah, I <laughs> I need these sheets and these pillowcases. <gasps> that's so cute. Well, that's the last time you're gonna see the room look good, gang. <laughs> they do have a bell service here, so if you get here before your room's ready, we were able to drop off our luggage right there, and then you just call them from the phone and they bring it on up. And now I think it's time to go to Downtown Disney before we headed to Disney. Disneyland later. And even look at the adorable hallway carpet. More hidden Mickeys for you to find. sneak peek at Downtown Disney. This little girl is gonna head into Disneyland, so we'll either see you back at Downtown Disney, back at our resort, or somewhere. We'll, we'll see you there. Good morning again, gang. 
We had such an awesome day at Disneyland. It was fantastic. We're waking up at Paradise Pier, and like we told you, they don't have a lot of restaurants here, things going on, so we're gonna head to Disneyland Hotel for some breakfast. Our bearings a little bit on this resort they're actually as you can see it's a lot of construction and refurbishments like we said and now we know why they just announced that Paradise Pier Resort is going to be turning into Pixar Pier Resort surprise. Surprise. surprise surprise but that's so cool that they announced it while we were staying here so we're kind of getting to see like a little bit of like last Classic. final Disney history Oh, and, and you guys, every time we walk to the park, our lovely cast member Dwight is out here and he plays his tunes. Uh, today we're going to Disneyland Hotel, but I think he might still be playing some tunes. Morning, Dwight. Oh, every today. morning we walk out, he's playing and I love it. M-O-U-S-E. Mickey Mouse. Donald Duck. <laughs> M-O-U-S-E Yeah! <laughs> Thank you, Dwight. And what a way to send us in this morning. Me and Trav both have our Mickey Mouse on. It, we are so happy Dwight was there. We, I didn't know if I was gonna show him because it's been happening in the mornings, but I asked him, I was like, Dwight, can I please film you just to remember you so, for me? The funny thing, the first day we came out here, we said hi to him, yeah. and then I heard a sound behind me, and I almost yeah. thought it was a, a Cell ringtone, phone or... so we turn around, he's playing like this recorder thing, like almost like Dwight from The Office. Yeah, and his name is Dwight, That's and there's funny. a scene like from The Office where Dwight's playing the flute, but yeah. this Disneyland Dwight is way, way cooler. Yeah. Sorry, we saw Dwight and got excited, and I don't know if we finished talking about the renovations, but that is why there's so many refurbishments, why restaurants are down, because they're yeah. like, we're not gonna open this back up if we're gonna close it all down to completely rethink the nice. resort. Would have been cool though, if we would've came just a slight bit earlier and, and got, got to, to see the pool the, and the bar, the pool and yeah. the restaurant, because there was just one or two, re well, there's a restaurant style and then like a quick service yes. that's in there too. So it would've been cool to see those, but and, al we'll and also, doing. just so you guys know, so far, we highly recommend staying here. Um, yeah, as of right close. now, it's super close. Literally, that's Disneyland Hotel already, and that's like downtown Disney. So it, you're just as close as if you were staying at some of the really high-end yeah. resorts. Now, when it changes to Pixar Pier, I know that price is gonna go up a little bit, but I'm hoping, I'm, I'm still hoping it's gonna be but it will, on the lower range. Well, I'm sure it'll bring it up to date because a lot of these hotels were old hotels that, that Disney they bought, bought. And, trans, and I don't think they've ever been redone. Maybe Disneyland Hotel, they've done refurbs on the rooms, but yeah. I don't know, the outside still looks like. Looks the same. Right here, they have like a little private entrance for Disneyland Resort guests but since they gave us permission since so many amenities are down are down at our resort i'm so glad we're gonna let you guys see it And right as you walk into the main lobby, look at this little animated vintage Disneyland map that they have. It is such a cool little art piece that you can see directly when you walk in. And so for our breakfast, Travis is gonna get the American breakfast. It's scrambled eggs, bacon, and sweet potato hash served with a pineapple wedge for $15. And they actually allowed me to get their kids Mickey-shaped tangeray toast. It's brick toast, bananas foster, whipped cream, toasted coconut, served with pineapple and turkey bacon for $8. And look how cute and 60s 
these little like outdoor little chairs and tables are. And with the kids meal, you even get a little chocolate milk. And I love chocolate milk. I've never heard of Prairie Farms. I don't know if that's a Florida thing or I guess it's a California thing. And I'm just so lucky that they let us come over to the Tangare Terrace and have breakfast because it is such a stunning little restaurant. Really cool tiki vibes, an amazing view of the pool. And look at this Tangare toast, you guys. I don't know about you, but doesn't it remind you of the Tonga toast over at our Polynesian Resort? I am so excited to get to try this Mickey-shaped Tangare toast though. And even Travis's platter is really, really huge. I love the colored potatoes with the little tropical flower on there. Just the plating of these are absolutely stunning. And I do have a fork, but I feel like it's toast. And I feel like you're allowed to pick up toast and eat it. What a fancy, fancy little Bananas Foster thing for a kid. All right, let's turn it so I can get the banana. Tastes very, very toasty. And check out this Disneyland hotel pool, complete with a monorail themed slide. I cannot believe that we're able to go into this. If we want to, we have our key card. We can come lay out by this amazing pool. They are doing a little bit of construction, it looks like, over here as well. Well, we can't wait to show you guys the rest of the trip. I just, I wish I could put all the videos out in one day, but this was definitely just us checking in, getting associated, knowing where we're gonna eat, where we're gonna swim. And I am so excited for the two hotels we get to Exactly. <laughs> be at. Yeah, we get a shared experience. Yep, so. make sure you're subscribed so you can see the rest of this vacation, guys. Peace, love, and positivity. All the good things. Love you guys, bye.